We're going to look at mutable objects in chapter 10, which means objects that can mutate or change. We're going to start with points here. And I want to make this a little more interesting. So I'm going to take this drawing panel code and drop it right inside the uh, package here. Uh, it doesn't actually get inside the package until the very first line. Oh, never mind. I'm just kidding. It was put into, oh, well, that's the wrong package. It needs to go into that package. Okay, now chapter 10 code is going to know about drawing panel. Better save that. Okay. So we're going to do. We already imported the uh, Java point right here, and I made a new point right here. And let's just stout P. All right, and right away, you see the x, y values of the point P. Uh, wouldn't it be nice to print that on a screen, which we'll do in a minute. Now let's make the point 3, 4. Uh, let's do 30, 40. Uh, I could run this again, and again, we'll see the uh, coordinates right here. Now, important thing to understand is point is a, uh, let's see. This creates a new spot in memory, which is going to hold the values 30 and 40, and all the methods attached to point, which we'll see soon. And this p variable is just a link to uh, that spot in memory. You can change, so I can do p.x equals 100, and we run this. You see that the x value changed to 100 right there. I can change the y value if I want to, no problem. So that's what it means by mutable. You can change the values in different places here. So it'd be nice we're dealing with points if we can put them onto a, some type of visual representation here, which is exactly why I grabbed that drawing panel. We've got new. All right. This drawing panel does take two numbers. I'll do uh, 500, 500. Uh, this is the height and the width of the drawing panel that you're going to create here. That's very boring if that's all you do. You didn't draw anything on here. Now what I want to do is print out, or uh, display the point, not just print it out, but display that point on there. Do panel dot. get graphics, and this is going to give us a graphic object. And the way that we draw, and we're going to import something else, add import. Now once you have two or more, it's usually a good idea to put a star, which means give me everything in the java.awt library. Make a new so we got our graphics object and now finally we're ready to go g dot there's a whole lot of choices and we want to do a fill oval. Alright, so we can give it an X and a Y and then a width shouldn't be zero. Maybe we'll do ten. I'll just make this kind of small and ten. So there's our point right there, and when you're done, you do need to close this window. So instead of doing this fill oval with these numbers, let's do p.x, comma, p.y. That was a little bit bigger than the I needed for a circle. There we go. So now you see that point right there. If you look at the mouse, the, they tell you the mouse coordinates in the lower left corner there. So we're going to create the point. We're going to draw that oval here on line 25. And then we're going to set the x value to 100. And then we're going to draw it again. Let's see what happens. So there's the first point. 
with the x value of 30, and there's a second point with the x value of 100. And this is a really nice way to, to visually see what's going on. Uh, because we're going to be doing this uh, several times, All right, don't do what I'm doing right now, which is declare that thing outside. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyways, uh, so I don't have to keep passing it around. So I'm going to make a static. I'll explain why in a second here. We'll go public static raw. Oh, it's going to be a void. Point P. And then... We're going to steal this right here, bring it down. So the last thing we talked about is how to design things in a smart way. So we're going to do that exact uh, pattern, which is write some stuff up in public static void main, and then uh, rewrite it down here. Now we got draw P, if I could type. OK, there we go. And then we'll draw the point P again, instead of doing this fill oval. Okay, we don't really need to print the point out anymore, but I'll still do it. So we'll run it. It should be exactly the same as before, where we're printing out two different points. Okay, this is a really nice uh, way to visualize what's going on. And let's, I feel like these lines go together. Duplicate those without the extra print. All right, so we got three points now. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun in a minute with uh, drawing some cool stuff. Make sure you close your graphics window.